All right, this is an album cover coming at you with the last game in a best of three between Dakrin, who is the light blue Terran, and Super Steve, who is the dark blue Terran. Um, this is on Blistering Sands, and um, <clears throat> the third game, like I said, in best of three in the ACM StarCraft II Double Elimination Tournament. This is... I think it's for the semifinals, uh, but I'm not sure. And uh, last time Super Steve spawned as Dark Blue, he did win. So that is something that uh, Dakron has got to be sweating. I know I would be. Um, a lot of times in this, in, the, in this map, you have the choice either to, if you're going to wall off, wall off here at the top of your ramp, or you can wall off here at the, this narrow choke point and try to secure both your natural expansion and your main base. Um, but it looks like both players are going to go ahead and go for the wall off here at the top of the ramp, which is a little bit safer. But uh, a lot of times people can play really defensively and, and wall off right here and also secure their, their natural expansion. So. Uh, something else about uh, this this map is that you've got on the the back of your base you've got these destructible rocks behind this uh, debris right here so the, you can't see across this unless you have some sort of unit or building here on the other side. So a lot of times with Terran you'll see people build a supply depot back here just to watch these rocks and get vision over that just to make sure they're not about to be attacked uh, in the rear of their base. So looks like uh, Dakron will <laughs> scout just as uh, as Super Steve begins finishing that second supply depot, so just kicked him out just in the nick of time. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure what this SCV is doing, but he's doing something that's not making sense. So <clears throat> Super Steve is going to go ahead and scout now, and if he doesn't raise up this, okay, good, raise up that supply depot, he would have let Dakron right into his base. Um, we see Dakrin going ahead and making uh, Marine right now, and actually Super Steve is as well. Um, and we see both players playing fairly standardly right now, um, although uh, Dakrin is going to go ahead and go for his um, Orbital Command Center. So uh, a lot earlier than, uh, than Super Steve, who is just now starting his opting for uh, a quicker and uh, more economic advantage Dakron is and so we saw last game he was able to use his economic advantage to continually pump out marines and marauders and and a couple tanks and really uh, put a lot of pressure on super steve so here comes the factory again um, last time we saw him just stick with the with the tank uh, the high, his highest uh, tier unit and uh, it'll be interesting to see if he sticks with that, or it, we've seen him go Banshees before if he goes for that, or if we see any sort of Thors or Battle Cruisers or something like that. So we do go ahead and see the Supply Depot here, here at the back rock, so we can keep an eye and know if these backdoor rocks are being attacked, um, and we don't see that yet for Dakron. Making a tap lab and uh, pumping out these Marauders. Last game he, he opted for Reapers and they, they didn't last as long as he, and do as much and were as effective as he originally had hoped. Uh, he didn't quite get into his supply line as, as uh, he really wished he could. So both players uh, just playing pretty much uh, doing their own thing right now at this point. We do see a factory for here for Super Steve, um, so we can see tanks of his own, or we could also uh, see tanking straight to, to medevacs, um, although it's it's not um, not something that he really rushed out as far as medevacs or anything. Okay, we do see the supply depot here on the, the, the back of Dakron's base, so he's going to, to be able to see anything and, and not be able to be surprised by by any sort of thing like that. Um, they've each got one Zelnaga watchtower with one marine, so seeing he's got a kill and he's got no kill. I thought maybe they both had a kill uh, with an SCV there, but they didn't. So Super Steve going to go out with this SCV and, and I guess scout. Um, it'd be interesting to see if we saw any kind of proxy buildings or uh, maybe a hidden expansion. We did see Super Steve uh, do a, a hidden expansion last game, so um, be interesting to see what happens there. Um, so Super Steve actually does get up into his base uh, because his supply depot was left down, but these Marauders just pretty much uh, clean that up very quickly. Concussive shells being researched um, and getting a, a uh, reactor here on, on this other barracks. So uh, we've got Siege Tech already researched for Dakron, uh, just like last game, and uh, we've got a uh, okay. We've got a reactor here on 
this okay got a rector here on this factory so as soon as that done this factory is going to lift up and switch places with this starport and we're going to probably i would i would say at least at first see metafax um because it looks like super steve is going to push pretty hard with these uh with this bio ball army both players are uh Fairly close in their uh, economy economy game. Um, Twenty five harvesters for I'm um, uh, sorry, uh, Dakron, uh, doing a better job this game as, as well as last game. Um, and he's, we see Dakron going ahead and move up. He's going to siege his tank um, and use his marauders to spot the high ground. And I'm not sure Super Steve is quite ready for this. Um, Although he does have some sort of army. Okay, we've seen Super Steve do this before. He's going to drop straight on the tank and go ahead and take that tank out uh, and pretty much nullify that tank almost for, for the most part. And uh, Super Steve's micro and, and control there does allow him to hold that attack off. These uh, marine tank and marauder coming in over here, but I'm not sure how effective they are going to be. The ground just splattered with blood over here. Um, this tech lab coming up. So I would see I would say a lot more uh, Marauders for Super Steve, and okay, Dakron going to go ahead and use that time he he gained with that push and that that aggressiveness to go ahead and uh, secure his expansion. So I like that. Um, I haven't seen Super Steve uh, do that quite as much, and uh, so I, I feel like that Dakron is using his advantages here right now because. Yeah, he's not really doing a whole lot of damage right now, but what he is doing is he's keeping Super Steve in his base. Um, and especially these three Marines are probably... Nope, I thought they were going to come back here to these rocks. Um, and this command center is going up. Needs to go ahead and mine with this SCV and get his economy into gear. Um, look at the production tab. We see Dacron, uh, a Dacron, excuse me, uh, getting some upgrades and uh, some just more Marines, some Marauders. Um, However, Super Steve is getting a couple uh, Vikings as well to probably guard these um, these medevacs. Although we are going to see, looks like a drop, um, and you could really drop all the way back here and here. Just got this huge landing zone right here for drops, and uh, we, we've seen Super Steve be very effective with these drops before. So um, it'll be interesting to see uh, how Dakron reacts to this and if he's able to hold it off uh, because he, he certainly was not able to hold that off in the first game looks like okay going for the scan gonna see what he's got right here and his movie is his, his army is actually moving out of position right now um, I don't know what that was maybe a bunker or something but these troops are dropping in here but his, his part of his army is here and part of it is completely out of position um, with these medevacs, though, Super Steve does have an advantage, um, and these even these Vikings are landing and going to try to help out and, and mop up this, this force. One Viking taken out could have uh, raised him back up and, and avoided that loss, but he's going to push in. Super Steve's going to push in here real far. He needs to drop straight on this tank like he's been doing before um, and, and to try to kill some of these SCVs, but these SCVs are trying to get around this tank and be able to heal it as it goes, but... You no, know, the tank does fall, and these SCVs are trying to take out these Marauders as fast as they can, but the SCVs are falling. And just ridiculous look at the unit loss tab. Uh, Dakron has, has lost a, a lot more, uh, almost a thousand more than Super Steve, and Super Steve right now is really uh, in, in a commanding lead, because right now all these SCVs are just sitting here. It doesn't matter if you killed them or not. If they're not mining, they're not being useful. And so he's losing all that time mining.